Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ship Views with me, Carburetor. Today, I'm going to be looking at the Santa's Mega Gift Containers, where I buy them so you don't have to. Now, again, I've been, this is the same day that I've been recording this, so even though this is going to come out on Sunday, I bought these on Friday, Friday the 10th. I realized that I'm probably doing this in the wrong order, but I wanted to release it in order of what people are probably going to want to get. So, I'm going to be buying these just now, looking at these. So, we went from a 9% chance to get a ship to a 16% chance to get a ship. Now, with this one also, I believe that you get the pity party after 14, where if you don't get any ships that you, if you don't get any of the premium ships, that you get automatically a ship after your 14th container. So on your 15th container you get one. But we've been proving to be pretty lucky so far. And I do want to emphasize it's luck. Somebody might buy a hundred of those of those regular gift containers. And not get anything. But anyway let's purchase these. And I'll meet you guys back in port. So here we are back in port. I don't know if you guys remember, but last time we got lucky with the Poltava and the Boise out of the big gift containers. Before that, we got very, very, very lucky with the Marco Polo out of the regular containers. I want to state this. That was luck. That was not anything to do with me. That was pure, 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 pure luck. RNGs happen to, happen to smile upon us th these days. But... This time, we are guaranteed to get a ship because after 14 containers, a 15th container will have a ship. Now, I hope that that's not the case. I hope that I can get maybe two good ships out of this. But I would say the way to definitely get it and to get the ship you want, I just want to reiterate this because a lot of people are probably going to see this video and not the others, is to have all the low tier ships. I have been going through over the past, I want to say probably about a year. And I have been buying all of the low tier, tier 5, tier 6, tier 7, and eventually I want to make it to tier 8. I haven't made it there yet. Ships. And I've literally just been starting at the base here with... You know, something like the Duca de Aston, which I'm going to buy right now just for, for the kicks of it. I buy that so that when I get these containers, I don't have to waste my money getting, you know, I don't have to waste 10,000 doubloons to get a 5,000 doubloon ship. I can spend the 10,000 doubloons and maybe get a ship that you normally couldn't get, that you couldn't buy in the premium shop. I can get a ship at tier 10, tier 9, tier 8, that might be worth it. I want to reiterate that. Now, me, I'm a bit of a whale. I'm spending money on this game, but I do try and spend it wisely. So there is, a, you know, I do kind of try and balance it. But anyway, let's get into the containers. All right, so we were getting 30 of the epics instead of 15 of the epics like we were getting on the big. That's nice. Ooh, ship out of the get-go, which means I'm probably guaranteed to get two. And this is what I was talking about. The Sims is, I think, like a... I think that was... The Sims is one of the cheaper ships. Yeah, 5,300 doubloons. So, that was kind of a waste. I don't know why I didn't open my finger. It's there. I don't know why I didn't show up in the premium shop then. Maybe it didn't register it in time. That's kind of what I was talking about, though, where you want to buy the cheaper ships so you can get the better ships. If you know, Because it's going to roll and it's going to give me a chance of a ship... And when it gets you the chance of a ship, at least it's the way I remember it, I might be wrong. Don't, you know, this is not legal advice. But if it says I'm going to give this guy a ship, it then rolls again and figures out, am I going to give him a tier 10, tier, a tier 10, a tier 8 or 9, or a tier 5 to 
eight ship, and I'd much rather get higher up than lower down. More camos to sell. Bloons, that's always good. 2,500 bloons. I didn't look at the last containers and see just... I think that's... I think 2,500 bloons is enough for basically a re-roll plus another container. <gasps> well, I'm restocking a lot of my epic... Uh, more doubloons. Restocking a lot of my epic... Plagues, so that's nice. More camo. More flags. Oop, here's another ship. Let's see what we get. And in my opinion, I just struck out again because, you know, it's one thing if I had gotten this on the on the gift containers, but getting this on the mega gift containers, the Abruzzi, let's go look at her in the armory right quick. Hmm, doesn't show it in here. Oh, yeah, it is it's right there. So, 8,900 doubloons. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's better than The Sims, but it's still not really worth it. Um, especially since I don't really play these Italian ships that much. I, I need to. I, I need to get into them a little bit more. But I like my American ships. I'm sorry, I like my American ships. I'm probably going to play The Sims more than I'm going to play this. And The Sims is not renowned as a great ship. Oh, let's continue opening. We might get another ship. Who knows? More camos, which I don't need. Definitely restocking on the flags. Ooh, another ship. Let's see. Come on. And that's another swing and a miss. The P.E. Frederick. It's a ship I've wanted. Don't get me wrong. But it's not... It's not the ships I've wanted out of this. I was hoping... Kind of one of the reasons also I was hoping to do the low tier and then the high tier. Or the low... Uh, the the regular containers and then the mega containers is I was hoping to kind of shift my odds up a little bit. But you know what? Sometimes sometimes you get a little bit of a bruising. And you know what? I'm getting I'm getting ships. So you know it's not like I like I'm really it's not like I'm really swinging out, but yeah, 7100 doubloons. So not really worth what it is, but it is a ship. So and you know what? I've gotten three meh ships out of these. That's really not that bad of odds. That's really not that bad. The odds have still been good to me. One more container. And 20 more. So, kind of swung out there. Kind of missed out there. But at the same time, you know what? I did halfway decent. I'm going to be able to get five more. Uh, just because of the fact that I do have going to here i do have for new year's certificates i have 23 at five per that means i'm gonna be able to you know what let's just buy the four right now and then let's let's open these now because i'm i'm anxious Uh. 
didn't even get any coal this time around. Got the balloons, but I didn't really get any coal. So kind of swung out there, kind of missed out there. But you know what? That's the nature of these containers, and that's why I say that you guys shouldn't buy them. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you all next time.